Now, if you are going to do a Eurovision party, you'd be sort of getting all the snacks and things in. Yes, that's won't true. You? And often you get the sort of buy one, get one free on all that sort of thing. Well, the government has scrapped its immediate plan to ban supermarket bog-off deals. Yeah, Boris Johnson still believes that certain unhealthy foods fuel the country's obesity crisis. Mm, but he's delayed the ban for a year to help the current unprecedented squeeze on living standards. We're joined now by Peter Barnes, a political commentator and strategist. Um, and that's really interesting, the strategist part of us. Yeah. What is, how, explain this strategy. Well, I think, to be honest, what the, what the government's looking at here is really, realistically, how they can really help in the cost of living crisis and not really squeeze those on the lowest budgets um, far too much. It's, um, it's quite a surprising story. I have to admit, a lot of us didn't see this coming, but um, it's, uh, I think it will be welcomed by quite a lot of people, to be honest. It's interesting that the Labour Party has said, oh, this is an attack on children's health. And I understand the mm. argument, I do, but I just sort of think if this had come into force in October and nothing was done then the government would have been under attack for it, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, completely. I do feel like the Labour Party is attacking this because they feel like they have to attack it in, in some way, despite the fact that, realistically, like I say, m those on the lowest budgets, you know, the, those voters who the Labour Party are going after, will benefit greatly from the government kind of just putting this on pause. It's important to know that it has just been put on pause. It's not been scrapped entirely. Like, mm. eventually we will go back to it, because I think the government does have a point here about kind of obesity, about the obesity crisis, and really the, the cost of that puts mainly on the NHS. Yes. You know, the, if we really want to tackle the growing um, wait lists and things like that in the NHS, actually getting to get to that lifestyle is, is one of the best ways to do it.